So as we're wrapping up Origins, we finally got our hands on the new Wii U dev kits and started coming up with all kinds of crazy ideas. And the cool thing is, is that using the UBR engine, is that we're able to you know quickly turn around, uh, create new levels, really actually experiment more than anything. Is we're able to come up with lots of ideas, see what works, see what doesn't work. So. We started doing that right away, like as we were wrapping up the project on Origins, and that's what you're seeing with Rayman Legends now. Uh, yeah, last year, is, the story was the, the experience you had, and just the goofiness and funness, and look, it's Rayman, it's not gonna, we're not gonna have this revolutionary deep story this year either, but the way we're structuring the game is a little bit different. What we want to do is tell a series of stories, have a series of adventures. So the first one you're seeing is sort of the medieval kind of uh, castles, dragons, things like that. Uh, Rayman's going to walk into this house and see a series of paintings and he can jump into these kind of crazy paintings and all of a sudden enter this new world and have an adventure within that world. So instead of like one overarching story, it's going to be more of a series of, of stories. And so the only one we're talking about now is a medieval one. We're introducing a new playable character, Murphy. He's like the flying frog. He's our dedicated player for the Wii U gamepad. So he can uh, go all over the place. He can interact with every living thing on the map. And, uh, you know, what it does is creates this sort of asynchronous style of gameplay. You know, for example, in our boss battles, Murphy's uh, playing a slingshot shooter while Rayman's platforming through a map. So that's kind of the cool thing about what we can do with the Wii U is where each player's playing, they're playing together, but they each kind of have their own experience and their own game within the game. Basically, all we're showing right now is the Wii U, and we'll have some Wii U exclusive features. I mean, there's just certain things that the gamepad allows us to do that you can't do in other consoles, but we're looking into all of our launch options right now, and we'll have more news this summer about our full launch plan. Because we've added a little bit more depth to the graphics and backgrounds, and so you can actually, like, poke rats and squash bugs and tickle skeletons and weird stuff like that. So. You're gonna find even more goofy stuff. We've incorporated some new rendering and new lighting, so it looks 3D, but actually it's still the same same basic structure behind the engine. We've also been able to add 3D characters and 3D elements that are kind of coming and flying at you, so you'll see right away that it looks like there's more depth. It's the same engine, it's the same hand-drawn art, but we've just had more time with the engine and we've been able to add more layers and uh, do some new, new little twists with lighting and stuff. New animations, like, you'll see there's a lot of new things. At first glance, it, of course, it reminds you of Origins, but as you see and look more, you can see how much deeper we've gone visually. We're just super excited for everybody to get their hands on it, so keep an eye out for Rayman Legends.